Hi guys, my name is Joe Green. I'm a year one student currently studying business management at Leeds Becky University. This is my vlog on consumer purchasing behaviour and I really hope you enjoy. The product I'm going to be using today to help evaluate my consumer purchasing behaviours along with many theories is football boots as this is an item I use a lot. The self-concept theory is my first theory I will talk about, as I believe this applies to me when I buy my football boots, as they mean a lot to me because I wear my football boots to play rugby, and rugby is a large part of my life. I believe the boots represent who I am as a person and as a player on and off the field. And buying a good pair from a well-established brand such as Nike, Adidas or Puma means a lot to me, due to them being from the standout brands within their market. According to Hosni and Mart in 2012, self-image congruence has a large influence on consumer actions. I believe this applies to me. I am now going to discuss my decision on the pair of football boots I will purchase, based on Gonsay and Richardson's 2010 decision-making theory. This is a six-stage process that helps evaluate my purchasing behaviours and decisions. Step one is the problem recognition stage. For me, this was that my old boots had ripped and no longer usable. Step two is known as the information search. Due to technological advancement, this is where I, the consumer, gather data to help me make my decision. On this, I use Google to find a website called ProDirect Soccer that I've used before due to its wide range of products. Step three is information evaluation. This is where I gather data of products to compare using ProDirect Soccer. I found many products such as Adidas X Speed, Puma Future and Nike Mercurial Speed. I compared these products on reviews on the website and YouTube, also on which celebrity or pro footballers wear the boots. This is known as celebrity endorsement. I finally use price as this plays a large part in my decision as being a student I don't have large amounts of money to pour away on a product that isn't worth the value of money I will be spending. Step 4 is known as the purchasing decision. This step is when I make my decision of which football boots I will purchase. For me, it has to be the Nike Mercurial Speed, due to the fact them being well worth their £210 price tag. As I have had them before, I know they are comfortable and light. They are also worn by, in my eyes, the best player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo. This is another example of celebrity endorsement. This is clearly a major marketing factor for brands like Nike, Adidas and Puma, as they know if they can get the top athletes in each sport to wear their products, sales will increase. Celebrity endorsement affects the brand credibility, which is therefore an important element that can impact the purchase intention of the consumer. This was said by Vian et al. in 2017. Step 5 is the post-purchase decision on behaviour. This is how I feel as a consumer after I have purchased my product and if my behaviour has changed to the way I've purchased the same product again. Overall, I'm really glad I bought the Nike Mercurial Speeds as they fit me well and they were light, which meant they satisfied my personal needs. I'd recommend this product to anyone looking for a new pair of football boots. So guys, we're nearly there. The final step of Gonsay and Richardson 2010 decision making theory is step six. This is the feedback prior to the next decision. For me, this would be to use the same method as it allowed me to find the best pair of boots that suited my needs the most. In conclusion, for me, a celebrity endorser like Cristiano Ronaldo for Nike or Lionel Messi for Adidas is my major influence in terms of which football boots I will buy because I really look up to them in terms of what they have achieved within their sport. There is also that influence for me in terms of the style of boot so they have to be light and they have to be comfortable so that I can play my best on a Saturday. So guys, we are actually at the end now and I'd like to say thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog on my consumer purchasing behaviours when it comes to football boots.